Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're looking at our IFFCC, the stands for Integrated Flight Fire and Fire Control Computer, which is a really weird name. I don't know why it's called that, but it is. It's this little doodah down here. We can have it on, or we can have it test, or we can have it off. Now, if we put it in test, the interesting thing is, is it gives us options in the HUD to set various stuff up, and there's some pretty cool stuff in there. So we're going to go down to here. Now, it's incredibly important when you click it to from the on position to go to press the right click to go to test do not press left click if you press left click in fact why not I'll just show you if I press left click it goes to off and then we've got a world of pain and then if we tried going up to test it would give us a uh, uh, an engaged pre fired bit test and a master caution and it's problematic so I'm gonna get a new jet so from a hot started plane you would actually just do right click down to test and you, then you don't have any problems then on your hard you get this menu, this master menu of stuff that you can test and change. Now this is just a basic overview, we're not going to go into every single option and what they do because, well, we don't actually know, we haven't had time to, to read, but we just wanted to let you know that it's here and how you can change some cool stuff. So we're on the main menu here, we can cycle up and down the menus with select up and select down. If we wanted to go into an option we could press enter. Um, now the first one is CCIP consent option on or off. Can you Do you know what that is like? Can you explain that? Yeah, so that is your um, consent to release weapons, basically. So you, uh, in off mode, you have no release constraint. Uh, in three by nine or three nine line, uh, the release five mil, mil solution queue must pass through the large bombing reticle. So basically, what that does is in cha it changes. So you remember when you did your uh, CCRP mm -hmm. and you had your bomb full line and you had a little dot on the bomb full line. Okay. That, move down the bomb fall line to your reticle at the bottom yep as you uh as it's approaching that you press and hold and as it passes through the weapon releases yep. that is the consent so you have to be in the right place mm -hmm. for that to pass through your pepper mm -hmm. and for the bomb to release if mm -hmm. it passes if it's off to the side it will not pass it will not pass through and it will not release a bomb mm. so that's what the that's basically what that's talking about is it's the consent to release a weapon for your positioning of the aircraft and, and putting it in the right place uh, okay i get you, it you, so you can have sorry you can have it off so you have no so mm -hmm. you can just push the button and it will release anyway mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or you can have it three nine which is basically like having a horizontal line mm -hmm. rather than the the five mil dot mm -hmm. or you can have the five mil dot which means it's very accurate and it's basically your accuracy oh. five mil is going to be very accurate three nine not so accurate off you could drop it anywhere right and in real life this is so that you don't accidentally bomb a school or something presumably yes exactly um, and uh, i'm saying off you can drop it anywhere it might also be off you can't drop anything at all i'm not 100 <laughs> percent. roger so we'll change it with data up and down so five mil three of nine back to off okay bit this is a whole series of bit built-in tests that we can run we're going to have a quick look in there if you are into your bit tests as a lot of people are then you can go and run your bit tests and they will come back with results whether you are good to fly or whether you've got problems personally it's not something i'm going to do aas enter in there um this is regards your gun funnel um you can set it up to match certain aircraft and you can add or take away aircraft from that gun funnel wingspan selector so if I wanted to add a F-18 to it, then I'd go there, I'd press enter, and now it has the F-18. And you can also change a manual one. We've got a manual that we can go here, press enter, and we could change the wingspan and stuff of that manual one. Roger, so that's that. Weapons, this is more my area. Uh, we can change the gun here, uh, whether it's using combat mix, or I can't get that to change. Oh, I right, press enter in it and we can change various stuff with that gun um if you want a minimum altitude you want how many rounds you've got and stuff there I, we don't know what they mean but this is there if you want it and i'm going to go back out we've got our offset adjust we can adjust there and our target a variable target elevation so yeah there you go uh weapon rel data is going to have a look auto scroll any idea i don't think we know that one do we let's no. skip over that uh display modes oh we like this one this is one we actually use so various stuff that we can display so for instance if i am weird and i want it in metric i can go to metric instead of imperial or i can have my airspeed set in true speed or ground speed or mac ias uh, so different that's uh, something else we can do if i want to show my vertical velocity on the hud we can do that if i want to show my radar altitude tape so if i wanted a radar altitude tape on my hud at all times i could have that in there 
Uh, could you explain... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Could you explain the CCRP gun cross occult? Because that's something we like to do. Yeah, so um, on the, uh, what I tend to do is I tend not... If I'm using the guns, I tend not to use the guns in guns mode, which sounds a bit weird, but I use them in the CCIP mode, which gives you the gun cross. Uh, if you have a target selected as SP and look at it uh, in your HUD, you'll see that you have a grid square around it, which is showing you where the target is. Uh, in normal default mode, when you pass your gun cross over the target, that green box will disappear behind the gun cross. And turning this off will mean that the green box will be shown through the gun cross. I tend to use it... Um, as uh, if you're quite far away and you can't actually see the target, but you picked it up on your TGP and you're just steering to it with your HUD on the, gr uh, moving your HUD with the green box round. Um, sometimes when the, the cross move, moves over it and it disappears, you lose track of it underneath. So I tend to turn this off and still keep the green box over my, uh, underneath my uh, gun cross. Okay, sure. Makes it easier to find the target. Shows an example of that then, exit. We've got maintenance. Uh, oh, are we going to adjust our uh, ball sight here, up and down, or, or lateral? That's interesting. Uh, okay, that's that. What else have we got? Delta Cal. Absolutely no idea, but stuff that you can change in there. And CCAS training, GCAS training, I don't know what that is. But those, that's just showing how to get in the menu, how you can change stuff, and some of the, you know, everyday stuff that we change. If you want to know what all they do, you're going to have to sit and read the manual, obviously. Hope that helps, and see you later.